Okay, let's go ahead and configure our access device here. And for the sake of clarity, any IP address or device name or any names I use here are just basically for this video. You can use whatever IP address you want, any name you want. It doesn't, doesn't make a difference at all. And also, uh, for time, I'm only going to give you the bare bones configurations uh, to get your device up and running so you can access your devices from the access server itself. Uh, there are many commands that you can add to your device like you would any Cisco router or switch. Uh, for the sake of time though, I'm just going to keep this to a minimum here. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter some commands. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll enter the commands and I'll go back after they have been entered to explain what I have entered here. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to uh, give this device a name. So let's go ahead and go into the user mode. Now we're just going to go ahead and configure the host name. And from here we're going to go ahead to the 16 asynchronous lines that I have for on this 2511. It means I can connect 16 different devices here. We're going to go ahead and give it the uh, basic commands for those uh, particular lines here. Okay, for these 16 lines, I'm telling it with the transport input telnet which is right here, this part. I'm telling it that the input uh, to be expected will be Telnet. The no exec just basically keeps you from being locked out of your device. And the exec timeout 00, zero basically tells the server not to time you out. Uh, it's set for zero minutes and zero seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and go to configuring our devices to connect to this uh, server here. Okay, what I've done is just configured four devices, the router one, switch one, router two, switch two. As you notice behind each one, you'll see the numbers 2001, 2002, 2003, and four. Cisco requires that these numbers be put for these uh, connections. In this case, I'd go from zero or 2001 to 2016 since I have 16 connections. Uh, if you have a 2509, which only has eight connections, you just zero, use zero. Uh, 2001 that is to 2008. The IP address of 10101010 that is going to be our loopback address and I have not added that into our configurations yet. I wanted to show you what would happen if I had not uh, put that uh, loopback address in here. So let's go ahead and try to let me get out of here. Let's go ahead and try to connect to let's say router 1. All you have to do is type in the router name and it doesn't have to be in uh, uppercase at all. Okay, you see the message says destination is unreachable, gateway or host down. That's because we have not set that loopback address. So let's go ahead and do that at this point.
Okay, we put the uh, loopback address in there of 10, 10, 10, 10, which are the same IP addresses notated here. So let's go ahead back down to here and see if we can get into router 1. Okay, this time it's not saying unreachable. You actually see the word open here. Hit your enter key again, and there I am in router 1. Now, to go back to the terminal server, this is where it gets a little tricky. You have to use Control Shift 6 and then the letter X. So, Control Shift 6 at one time all together, then the letter X, and that'll take you back to the server. Now, it's something you have to just get used to. Just keep doing it a few times, and get, you'll get comfortable with it. Now, what happens if I hit enter at this point? It tries to take me back to the previous connection, which in this case is router 1. Okay, we don't want to go to router 1, and you notice it's not really connecting. So, there you go. Now you're in. Now, what we need to do, if you want to go into uh, another device, Control shift 6 again with X, type in the next uh, device you want to go into. Let's try, let's try to switch one. Open. Okay, I'm in switch 1 there, and it's prompting me for a password here. Okay, so that is basically how you go from one device to another. Now, there's another trick that's going to come up and it'll probably catch you. Let's go ahead and try to go back into router 1. So we type in the router name. It's not connecting. It's just hanging. The reason being is it's already got an open connection to that device, so it's it can't make another connection. So how do you how do you get into it you're probably wondering well it's really quite simple you have to clear the line so let's get out and what we'll have to do is clear that line but let's let's go ahead and look at the lines first to look at the lines do a show line command okay and there are the lines here and you can see that uh, the router one is going to be right here 2001 or here's a one and you can see by the asterisk that means that the uh, that router still, I mean the uh, access server still has a connection to that router. So we need to clear that line. So to do that, just type in a clear line command with the number of, that you need to cl uh, clear, which in this case will be number one. It'll prompt you to confirm. Just say, you just hit your enter key. Okay, and it takes you back to the uh, prompt. Let's go ahead and try to enter the uh, router name and see if we can get back into router 1. It's opened, and we're back in. Okay, that's basically your uh, configurations, your bare-bones configurations to get you up and running. There is one other thing I'd like to mention. Uh, unlike uh, Cisco routers and switches where to save your configurations into memory where you type in... Uh, copy run start in this case you have to do a write memory but you have to be actually in the uh, privilege mode and let me get back out on pop back into the router so let me get back out of that router okay here we are back in the terminal server let's go ahead and do a write memory or write mem for short you get your little pound signs and then your prompter come back up. Here you are. Okay, now, again, in the switches and routers, you do a show run to see your configurations. To show your configurations here, you have to actually do a show config, or C-O-N-F. And that shows all your configurations. So there you have it, just the bare bones uh, get you up and running on your server so you can go ahead and access all of your other devices on your rack. If you have any questions just feel free to drop me a line or uh, pop me an email or whatever and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.